this case. So, on a lighter note before the actual video starts, I just want to say that I have not been shaving for 10 days now. And this is the result. 10 days. That's taken me. 10 days. I want to go on to the main topic of the video now, which is discussing schools and the curriculum of today. In primary school, things like English and maths are there to help you grow as a person, help you understand the world, and teach you the basics of what you need later in life. I mean, you can't expect someone to go off into the real world if they can't form a paragraph. Like, I mean, there, there are some things you need to know. Depending on what kind of secondary school you go to, however, you are forced to take things like science, maths, history, English, geography, possibly even a language, or possibly even religious studies. If I want to go into the world of media, I don't see why I need to learn about science. I don't see why I need to learn about religion, or geography, or history. I would rather study film and media, because then that is more in the area of what I want to do. I will be more interested in that. You have teachers telling people they're not focusing, they don't pay attention in class, they don't do the work. Maybe because it's not what they're interested in. Since I started secondary school, I had no interest in geography or history. Therefore, I didn't pay attention as much. But that's not because I'm just a bad student, it's because that's not what I'm interested in. I'm more into media and editing and filming. Not writing out Pythagoras' theorem or working out the chemical bond between oxygen and hydrogen. I don't need to know this stuff. Yet we're taught this over things like first aid, how to get a house, how to survive later in life, how to apply for jobs, how to look after a child when you want one. We're taught how to prevent having children using condoms and sex ed. But what happens when you want a child? What happens when you have a child and it's planned? It's not an accident, you've wanted that child, you've tried for it. What happens then? Because it's not going to be a case of trial and error, because then there are some things you need to know. And okay, fair enough, most people will just go to, say, their parents, or their friends, or someone they know. But what if there's a situation where that person doesn't have that kind of liberty, where they can't go and talk to someone about it? They don't know what to do. Fair enough, nowadays we have something called the internet, where we just go for everything. It doesn't matter what it is, it could be a case of I've got a headache, but I go online to find out what is going to kill me. There are some things where school is good and it's helpful, but there are other things where it is just corrupt and it doesn't work. In some cases, school is helpful. It teaches you how to become a better person. But then there are other cases where it's just pointless. I don't want to learn about Shakespeare's classics. I don't need to know how to subtract x from 3x divided by 2a. There are some things where it is relative to certain people, but it's not to others. Fair enough, later on in schools, you get the choice to study GCSEs, and you can choose, I think it's four subjects for the majority of people. It was in my case, I don't know what it's like across the world, but in England it's four subjects for the average person. Yet you still have to take things like science, maths, English, IT, and like, PE, or games, or whatever you call it. You have to take that. The world is too focused on academic grades, and not enough on practical use. From a young age, we're taught that you get good grades, you go to university, you go get a good job, and you work until you die, pretty much. That is the world we are presented with. In reality, as soon as you leave school, it's not a case of just handing someone a piece of paper saying, yes, these are all my grades, please give me a job. No, it's very different to that. I have been applying for jobs for at least three months now. I have not got a single offer back. And that's not because I don't have A-level grades. No, it's because I don't have the necessary experience in that workplace. The way you get experience is going and doing something for free. You don't get it through studying and writing and handing in essays. You do it from real-world experience. Maybe if you're working in an office, having like A-level grades at English and German would be quite helpful. But in the field I want to go into of editing and filming and directing, maths, German, physics, chemistry, this isn't going to help me. What's going to help me is knowing where my target is going to be stood and where the camera is going to be. That's what I need to know. The rest, there are other people to do that. Sound engineers, cinematographers, actors, they do their jobs, I do mine. 
together we create something, but it's not a case of we all stayed in school and studied history and then we use that now. One of the main reasons why this is something that is so aggravating to me is because I've had it before where people think they're better than me because they went to school because they stayed and did A-levels. I did one year of A-levels and then decided it wasn't for me and I moved to college. This has been the best choice I think I've ever made because I've made some great friends, I have some great memories, and honestly, I don't have to worry about my shirt being ironed every morning. I just go in in track suits and t-shirts and just go. It's, it's so much more relaxed and you're actually treated like an adult. In school, they tell you you're treated like an adult. You're not you are seen as a child still compared to teachers. You have to have respect for them. You have to tuck your shirt in. You have to be on time. If you don't, you get a detention and you have to stay behind. In college, it's a case of you turn up in whatever you wanna wear, turn up whenever you want, you hand in the work whenever you want. They don't chase you up. They don't say, right, hand in the work now or you get detention. No, it's a case of you don't do the work, you don't get the grades. That is more like reality. School is a bubble. As soon as you leave the bubble, you're done. You don't know what the real world is like because you've had it so good. You go outside of sixth form and you might go off to university. Okay, fair enough. You go and do that. You go and write your 10,000 word analysis on a rock. But then after that, you don't just walk into a job. Maybe on the odd occasion you do, depending on who you know or what you've done. But most of the time you have to write a CV and people who've stayed in school won't be able to write as good a CV as someone who's gone out and done something. Yes, you can write, I've got A star grades in geography and physics and German, but you can't write, I did a year where I went and studied rocks using my scientific knowledge in physics in Germany because you haven't done that you've been in school you've been studying you haven't had the chance to do that so why is it then that someone with all the experience is overlooked because someone has a star grades in a subject but they have no experience of it this is this is something that I've been like I've always had in my head like school is so messed up because people who deserve it people who've worked for it are overlooked because they didn't get the grades they didn't get an A in physics when they were in year seven. Pretty much the point I'm trying to get across is school is messed up, academic stuff is way overlooked, practical stuff is not as looked upon as it should be, and I need a job. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you were able to relate to this on some level. Hopefully it wasn't just a video of me talking about random stuff and it did make a bit of sense. I don't know. But yeah, I will see you whenever. Thank you for watching and goodbye.